Sandra here from Create in Spain. I'm going to show you how to develop a step card, a side a step card, it's difficult to say that, a side a step card with shortcut slot. Now the main thing that you need is the outer shape of your card. Now it's entirely up to you whether you do it straight edges or whether you put some kind of fancy shape on it. Now to do this particular fancy shape, all I did was I drew some circles, whoops, like so. I went to object and then duplicate and then I selected the number of rows and the spacing that I wanted and then just welded them all together. Now I want to have for example, and I want the vertical spacing to be minus so they'll overlap, and just click OK. So let's pretend that this was exactly what I put on the edge. It's not quite, but it's similar. Go to Path and then to Union. Now if I was to put that in there, you can see that the shape that you'd have for the left side is rounded on that side to the outside, but on this side it would be going like that, which probably isn't actually what you're looking for. So all you have to do for that is to take a rectangle and to put a rectangle over your image and to center it up. I'm not going to do it to page, just center it to that. And then go to path and exclude. Now this, if I put some colour into it, you'll be able to see what's going on. There we go. Now in order to make it do what I want it to do, I need to cut this in half, more or less. So you can either do the eraser, which is easy enough to do, and just go like so, and then like that, which should, in fact, end up with two pieces, if I break them apart, end up with two pieces. Or you can use the knife tool, your choice. And then what you do is you put them back to back instead, and you want to make sure that they are lined up vertically, like so. And you can move them over so that you get as thin an object as you like. But be wary, if you move it over too much, you're going to obscure the holes on the left hand side. You just want to make it like that. And take the whole thing and go to path and union. And then you have something which is very similar to this shape here that I've got in between my two layers. And the step is formed quite easily by putting this into a rectangle. I'll just draw a rectangle with no particular size, okay? And move this to the back. We'll take, actually, I'll take the color out of it, that's easiest. There we go. So if I was to just do this and then select it and make sure it's in the center, up and down, it's in the center of it, you see. I would have a scalloped edge on that side, plain edge on that one. But then in order to make my card have a step, I need some fold lines. And it's basically just a couple of crease lines. So I did two crease lines and I put one on the same level as the top of here and then repeat it about two centimeters down. Now what you need to make sure is that you have the room for this to go two centimeters, for the fold to actually go down two centimeters. So if you have two centimeters between your lines, as in these two lines here, you need to have at least two centimeters from there to there. And likewise on that side to there. But other than that, it's relatively easy. Line up your top line with that cut there and do the same on here, as you can see on that one. And then those are just going to be score lines, they're not going to be cut lines. So you can either change the colour or make them a dashed line, whatever you like to do for that. And the other thing that you need to do is put a score line through halfway through the entire card. 
And as long as you do that, you will get a side step card. Now this bit can be moved so that you have a narrow piece, a wider piece. You can even put more than one gap in if you wish. And you can have steps on both sides of a central piece. The choice is yours. Now I've got a video just about to come up on actually putting the side step card together. But they're very easy to do, no problem at all, and they can be very effective depending on what you choose to put on them. They are really made by the decoration that you add. Now, for those of you unfamiliar with it, this is what one looks like when it is folded flat. And the main difference between this and a normal card is that you have what is obviously a step on part of it, like so. Now you can have step cards that have got more than one step. You can have step cards that have got three pieces across and so on and so forth. And what I have done, or I will be doing very shortly, is a video which teaches you how to actually design a step card in Skull. or well, shortcuts a lot. But this is the one that I'm going to be doing for the moment. And I've got some bits and pieces ready to go on the card. The first thing I am going to do is put this background onto my bigger step piece here. And all I've done here is I've cut out a black piece and then I have done a gold frame and adhered that to the front of it. So I'm just going to use some tacky glue to put this on the front of my card. And with these cards, they don't tend to look particularly special until you've got them dressed up. So that's the secret to these things. So I'm going to put that on there. glue I'm using is tacky glue and it does give you a little bit of leeway if you don't position it quite correctly at the first hurdle. Right now the next thing that I've got is this rather fancy birthday cake. Now what I did was I simply cut out a birthday cake shape with the candles and everything. I coloured it in with alcohol markers and I cut this piece of a gold mirror card to go on as the plate and I've backed it with black card. Now the reason I did that is because the card I used for the front was very flimsy and I didn't want this to be flimsy. I wanted it to be nice and strong. And then I actually gave it another backing of black card and this one I offset so it forms a shadow behind all the candles. And I'm not going to put that one on this side, I'm going to put it on this side here. So I want it to appear almost as if it's floating, like so. So I can put some glue on the back of here, or on the front of here I should say. I think I might need to get some more glue out. to refill this bottle I think. There we are. And I'm going to put it at an angle like so. There we are. So that's that's the base done. Now with this I've added some gold accents with a gold pen. And I've got little gold dots on the icing and things as well just to tie it in. Now I've got this shape here and this is one of the shapes from the Shortcuts a Lot Library and I'm just going to use my Zig glue pen to put some glue on the back of that. If you don't have one of these but you do have the alternative you can just use spray adhesive and that saves you the aggravation of trying to make sure everything is glued. And I'm going to put this one over to the right hand side. And there is a reason for that, don't worry. So it's not quite to the edge, but it's not central. There we are. Now I have an oval, again, black oval and a gold frame. And what I'm going to do with this one, I need to get my tape. got to get my tape out. And I'm 
just going to put a bit of double-sided foam on the back of here. So this one will stand out a little bit. And I'm going to put this one centrally to the middle of the larger section here, like so. I just remembered I should have actually put some lines in first, but never mind. So what I'm going to do now is do some gold lines. And I'm going to put just a drawn line. So that I can put some balloons on and I want another one there somewhere so I think I'll put that one up there okay and then a little bit of glue on the back of that one slightly lower and this one again I'm going to put a little bit of double-sided foam just to raise it up whoops just to raise it up a little bit my happy birthday here cut out and again this one is going to have zig glue put on the back careful not to overdo it because you don't want to make a mess of the card if you can help it and my sentiment is going to go Hang on a second, I've just seen that there is a little bit of glue or paper, it's glue, okay, in the hole there, just checking. And that's going to sit on there. And that's it. So nice and quick and easy and it looks quite pretty. And it is one of those cards that you can make a little more masculine for the guys in your life. Okay, hope you like it. Thanks very much for watching. Bye bye.